Welcome to May's Chinese Workshop. Today we are going to learn my hobbies. 我的爱好 Riding bicycle 骑脚踏车 Play skateboard 玩滑板 Play football. T Zu literally means kick football. Kick T football. Zu Swim. Yo yo. Scuba diving. Tian Shui. Skiing. 滑雪 Martial Art 武术 Doing Yoga 做瑜伽 Dance 跳舞 Flying a Kite 放风筝 放, here is release, 风筝, kite, 放风筝, reading, 看书, painting, 画画, playing violin, 拉小提琴, the play here, is pulling action so play here is actually pulling violin la xiao ti qin playing piano tan gang qin play here is tan tan is a uh, action by using finger so play piano Tan Gang Qin Play Guitar Tan Ji Ta Again Tan here is using the finger Tan Ji Ta Singing Chang Ge Watching Movie 看电影 Fishing 钓鱼 Keeping pet 养宠物 Play video game 打游戏 Cooking 烹饪 You can also say 做饭 or 做菜 Eating out 上馆子 Gardening 园艺 Photography 摄影 You can also say 拍照 In who category You have I 我 You 你 He or she 他 For the plural we have We 我们 you, 你们 They, 他们 In when category, we have week and months is go up and down Then we have last week 
上个星期 ，this week， 这个星期 ，next week， 下个星期。In months, you have last months. 上个月 ，this month， 这个月 ，next month， 下个月。So that's what we learned from the previous lesson. Let's make some more extension out of the existing timeline. So for the months before last months. 上上个月 ，the week before last week， 上上个星期 ，the months after next months， 下下个月 ，the week after next week， 下下个星期。For day and year, we have yesterday, today, and tomorrow, which is 昨天、今天、明天 and for the year, last year, this year, next year, we have 去年。今年，明年 ，so let's make some more extension out of existing timeline. So the day after tomorrow is 后天 The year after next year is 后年 The day before yesterday is 前天 The year before last year, 前年 And the day after 后天 is 大后天 The year after 后年 is 大后年 The day before 前天 is 大前天 The day before 前年 is 大前年 There are twenty-four hours for the whole day. Basically, we can divide it to day and night. So for the day is 白天 night is 夜晚 In the morning, early morning, 早上 Later in the morning is 上午 And noon is 中午 And afternoon is 下午 because 午 means midday. So before the midday is 上午 after midday is 下午 and evening is 晚上 and midnight. Is 半夜 and morning, very early morning is 凌晨 Let's look at some commonly used past tense phrases. Before, previously, 以前 in the past. Previously, 过去 Just now, 
or a moment ago. Gang gang. There's another way to say is, 刚才 A few days ago. 前几天 Also, you can say 几天前 Let's look at some examples. I just went to the supermarket to do shopping. So I 我 just 刚才 went to 去 and because it's the past tense plus 了 and the supermarket 超市 to do shopping 买东西我刚才去了超市。买菜，我买东西。My son went running in the park a few days ago. My son， 我的儿子。A few days ago， 几天前。In the park， park is 公园。And went running， running is 跑步。And here, the went we use to go to the location. So, 我的儿子前几天去公园跑步 Commonly use future phrases. Later, 以后 in a while. 待会儿 ，in the future， 将来 ，next time， 下次 ，this evening， 今天晚上。The example here is， I will go to Beijing this evening. I, 我 this evening, 今天晚上 go to Beijing, 去北京 and the will here is, 要我会 so, 今天晚上我会去北京 Next time, tell me your phone number. Next time. 下次 ，tell me， 告诉我 your phone number， 你的电话号码。下次，请告诉我你的电话号码 ，because this person is quite polite. So he or she say， 请，下次，请告诉我你的。电话号码 Future verb, 准备 get ready or prepare. 要 is to want. 打算 to plan. 我打算去学游泳。我 I 打算 plan 去。Go, 学 learn, 游泳 swimming. 我准备出国。我 is I. 准备 is plan or prepare. 出国 go abroad. So, in the who, when. How, where, what? Who is she? If you want to ask who, and to ask when, you can say 什么时候 or what time? 几点 How? 怎么样 Where? 在哪里 Also, you can say. 去哪里 to go where? If the、uh, question 
or sentence has go. So you move the go into the where category. And Dao Nali is to where. What is keeping the verb in the sentence and ask Shama. Let's see the example here. We will go to watch a movie in the cinema seven o'clock this evening. So we is in the who category. We woman. Seven o'clock this evening is in the when category. So in Chinese upside down pyramid um, rule, this evening is bigger than the seven o'clock. So we say in this way, this evening seven o'clock. 今天晚上七点. And because it's in the future, so will is yao. And in where category is in the cinema? Cinema is Tian Yin Yuan. But in the um, there's a go, so we put a go here. And go to watch a movie, the go move to the um, where category and leave the watched movie 看电影. So here, go, move to the where category. So how do we make the sentence here? The first thing you change is we become you. In Chinese is 你们. And let's keep the rest the same. 今天晚上七点 要去电影院看电影 And because it's a yes and no question, so we add the ma at the end. 你们今天晚上七点 要去电影院看电影吗? Are you guys going to the cinema to watch movie 7 o'clock this evening? And if you want to find out who, so who is 谁? 谁今天晚上七点? 要去电影院看电影? No? Because this question is a open question. It's not a yes and no question. So here the question word become no. If you want to find out when they are going, when you are going, so let's see. When uh, 你们什么时候要去电影院看电影呢? When are you going to the cinema to watch movie? No? And if you want to find out where you are going, 你们今天晚上要在哪里看电影呢? Where are you going to watch a movie this evening, 7 o'clock? And if you want to find out what we are doing, 你们今天晚上七点要去电影院做什么呢? What are you going to do in the cinema, 7 o'clock this evening? That's how we change a statement into question by asking D.
different information. So the homework is translate these sentences into Chinese and send the audio recording of the answer. I went to play football in the park three o'clock this afternoon. He went swimming in the swimming pool yesterday. We will go to watch a movie in the cinema seven o'clock this evening. I did not eat my breakfast at home. I ate my breakfast at a coffee shop. Let's review the answer. 我今天下午三点在公园踢足球。He went swimming in the swimming pool yesterday. 他昨天去游泳池游泳 We will go to watch a movie in the cinema seven o'clock this evening. 我们今天晚上七点去电影院看电影 I did not eat my breakfast at home. I ate my breakfast at a coffee shop. 我没有在家吃早餐。我在咖啡厅吃早餐。